Christmas has come early for some of us. Me being one of the privileged ones that have Christmas a little bit early this year. And I got my stocking right here. Not only that, but I've got something inside. So let's see what we've got. Got a piece of paper. Could be tickets. Whoa! It's something much better than that. It's Garrett Cole in the Yankees jersey, folks. How about that? The Yankees knew exactly how valuable Garrett Cole was. So what they did was they said, let's throw the entire kitchen sink and more money than anybody on the East Coast will probably count in the next five years. And we'll give it to one man to fix our one missing piece on our team. Not only that, but the Yankees lose a valuable shortstop in Didi Gregorius, who decides to go to the Phillies. We will review all of this because when this is all said and done, this is the only type of coal I want in my stocking. We are not always ones to talk about baseball on the YouTube channel, and I think that that's a bit of a sin. So we're going to try to incorporate baseball uh, more so in the future moving forward on the YouTube channel. Um, of course, last night at about midnight, I'm getting ready to go to bed, and all of a sudden the uh, notification goes off. The Yankees have signed Garrett Cole to a nine-year, $455,000 billion gajillion dollar deal. And not only that, but they also previously stated in the day lost their shortstop, which is a deal that I don't feel like most people are making a deal out of, mainly because the Garrett Cole news overshadows everything else. Um, we're going to talk about all of it here. Uh, the Yankees signed Garrett Cole to a nine-year, $324 million deal. And that is a massive deal. And from what I am told, the biggest deal that has ever been given to a pitcher in Major League Baseball history. Um, this is huge news. This is probably the best news that has come out of the Yankees in quite a while. Um, again, remember when the Yankees signed uh, Giancarlo Stanton, we were all jumping for joy. And we see that two years later. If I'm correct, how much of a waste that that really was. Because A, the guy is always hurt. He literally has an injury bug that is somewhere plaguing his body. And he has uh, not done much, really, with the Yankees. I wouldn't say he's horrible, but he's just not worth the price tag in which we get to him. Now, there's a few things I'm going to go over, particularly on the uh, Major League Baseball side of things and the Yankee side of things. The first thing is the high-risk, high-reward value of a high contract. $324 million is a contract that you cannot get back, and it is a contract that most teams will not take. Um, if I'm correct, I think that Harper signed a $330 or $325 million deal this offseason with the Philadelphia Phillies. But the Yankees know that Garrett Cole is the best pitcher in baseball. That's my opinion, and a lot of people will probably rally behind that and agree with that statement. Um... So the Yankees threw everything at the kitchen sink at him, and I feel like that this was the right thing to do. $324 million is a shit ton of money, but at the same time, Garrett Cole has shown you, and particularly the Yankees in general, his value to the uh, Major League Baseball and the pitching staff. All the Yankees needed to do was get a above average or a slightly all-star, or slightly, uh, slightly, yeah, you could say slightly all-star pitcher, and they would have been good to go. But instead, they threw everything in the kitchen sink knowing Garrett Cole was a free agent. And they gave him a shit ton of money. And they got the best pitcher in baseball. That was a beautiful move for the Yankees. And I think that it will be worth it. Now, the risk part of it becomes this. What if Garrett Cole gets hurt? But the, see, the people that will say, what if he gets hurt? Those are the same exact people that said, let's sign him. And then they don't think about the consequences of the signing until after the signing. That's the problem with that. Um... I don't think there's really there's yes it's a high risk because you're you're dealing with a large sum of money, but at the same time I think that them signing Garrett Cole is the right thing to do. Again, it's a lot of money, but I think Garrett Cole, especially as you see the Yankees, you know they couldn't hit with runners in scoring position, but the Yankees of all teams, especially the Yankees, know how valuable and how dangerous someone like Garrett Cole is, and the Yankees signing Garrett Cole was the missing piece that they needed. I said last year I thought they were going to make it to the World Series. Clearly, that didn't happen, and that was because of pitching. And not only pitching, but because of someone like Garrett Cole, who shut the Yankees down, mostly. However, this is great for the Yankees on another scale, because it makes the Yankees stronger, and it makes the Astros weaker. Justin Verlander has shown his vulnerability uh, vulnerability, excuse me, in the playoffs, uh, particularly last year. You know, the, the Rays were able to, to hit some off of him. The Yankees were able to hit some off of him. The only person that seemed invincible for a vast majority of the playoffs, except for the one game of the World Series, was Garrett Cole. 
Now, he is not God, but he is damn near close. Garrett Cole was 18-0 in the regular season following May, and the Yankees were a victim of Garrett Cole's tactics, so now they will use him to his advantage. The only other difference is now the Yankees will have to answer some infield questions as well. Uh, before I get on to that second topic, signing Garrett Cole was a masterpiece for the Yankees, and it was a, a damn sure thing that I think will really help improve this team. And uh, I really do believe that they will win the World Series this coming year just because of that. I really thought they were gonna they were going to last year, but they had missing pieces, um, slight missing pieces. You know, to win the World Series, you can't just have a dominating pitching staff. To win a championship in any sport, you have need to have a complete team. And the Yankees had about a 85% team. And I felt like the starting pitching was a bit of a question mark. So now, instead of starting someone like... I'll give James Paxton some credit because he actually did somewhat decent in the playoffs. Instead of having to start someone like J.A. J. Happ, we can now have someone like Garrett Cole slide into his position. So you would assume that the Yankees would have Garrett Cole. It's already self-explanatory. Masahiro Tanaka, clutch masterpiece. Luis Severino, who will probably get his bounce back from his injury. And then maybe Paxton right behind him. So for for to in all honesty, that seventy percent, seventy five percent of that is a is a top tier pitching staff. So that is exactly what the Yankees needed. So if we could realistically replay this entire playoffs with Garrett Cole on our side, I think we'd win the World Series. Now to the other news. Obviously, when you dish out that kind of money and you get a player like this. There is always going to be negatives. The negatives aren't necessarily Garrett Cole's fault, but they are other faults. Now, the Yankees lost Didi Gregorius. The Phillies have reached an agreement with the free agent shortstop, which I'm reading here on MLB Trade Rumors. Uh, the deal is set to be worth $14 million. And the Philadelphia Phillies have also been going off in free agency. They signed Zach Wheeler earlier this offseason as well. They have Bryce Harper for his second year, Andrew McCutcheon, and David Robertson. However... Despite the Phillies being active last year in the free agency saga, they actually didn't do much. They were 500, and they were 81-81 and 81 this past season. Um, and the guy that they dished every single dollar they had, like Bryce Harper out, didn't really do much. He was playing average baseball majority of the year. And I don't even know, I didn't even follow Manny Machado so much because I feel like once these players go all the way out to a team like the Padres, nobody gives a shit. Um... So the Yankees lose D.J. Gregorius, and it makes the Phillies stronger. Realistically, the Phillies are a team, if you've been following baseball, they should be much better than they are. Uh, they have names on their team, and D.J. Gregorius will be a huge asset to the Philadelphia Phillies. But it's going to be a slight detriment to the New York Yankees. Now, the idea here is that uh, Glaber Torres is going to slide over to the shortstop spot, and D.J. LeMahieu is going to play second. The only problem with that is, is that it's not that Torres can't play shortstop. It's just that he's a gold glove second baseman. And we do not have a set shortstop right now. So assuming that they make that slide and they put Greg, uh, Tor uh, sorry, Torres in the shortstop position. And then they put uh, Garrett Cole or no, Garrett Cole. Oh, my God. They put DJ LeMahieu in the second base position. Um, what happens when some of those players decide they need an off day? So I think the infield is a bit of a question mark. And what people are also failing to realize is, is that this is just the beginning of free agency. The Yankees got Garrett Cole. They lost Edie Gregorius. There's so much more that can happen. What is going on with third base? Are we going with Yashella? Is Andahar going to be dealt? First base, the same thing. Luke Voigt's okay, but he's he's always hurt. I don't think Luke Voigt's the long-term answer. What is going on at first base? Second base seems to be locked down with LeMahieu catching. Same thing. They're saying that Romine might dip. Higashioka could play catching. Our pitching seems to be set, and our outfield seems to be set as well. Again, what are we going to get from uh, Aaron Hicks? Again, because he's someone that has the injury bug, and he's a, a solid utility player. Left field, uh, Gardner assuming, and right field, obviously, Aaron Judge. And somewhere in that mix, I'm assuming, John Carlos Stanton. But regardless, the Yankees signing Garrett Cole is huge. It's monumental. It gives them the edge that they need. And it cements them as, well, We already they were already an elite team. But this just goes to show you, and one more thing, this just goes to show people that Garrett Cole signing with the Yankees is because people want to play for the Yankees. If this was Garrett Cole deciding if he wanted to go to the Knicks or Nets, he wasn't going to the Knicks. Nobody wants to play for the Knicks ownership, and nobody wants to play for a miserably losing team, as we saw last night as the Knicks got the breaks beaten off of them by a sub-500 Portland Trailblazers team. So, again, 
this is great. This is awesome. But we also have to wait till it plays out. We can't celebrate a World Series just yet. This has been your MLB Insider. Thank you for watching.